So, punta tayo dito sa, uh, again, chapter 3 of uh, Simplified Construction Estimate by Architect Pajardo. Ito yung basis natin. So, paano naman itong two-way reinforced concrete slab? No? Nangita. Okay, so anyway, yung goal natin dito is how to use yung calc web tools ko na I created for uh, two-way slab reinforcement na estimates. Okay? So anyway, ito yung basis kanina. Okay, itong kang pahardo. So for a while. So bali yung goal natin dito is again, kung paano gamitin itong uh, ginawa kong estimator. No? Again, free dito sa... So mas may internet ka lang, no? this is free. Okay, so punta ka lang dito sa website na to and then after that, punta ka dito sa estimator. And then pag nandito ka na sa estimator page, so may kita mo yan dito, no? yung two-way slab, uh, river estimator, or kung sobrang dami na kasi I'm planning to create uh, maraming estimator na no? different materials. So pwede mong i-search yung two-way, I guess. Right, yeah. Ayan, so lalabas din siya. Click mo lang yan. And then, andito ko na lang sa landing page na yan. Uh, two is love reverse the meter. Okay? Sige. So, magawin natin is paano ito gamitin? Ayan, ha? So, for a two-way reinforced uh, concrete slab, so ito na yun. So, anyway, yung basis ko dito is itong table na to. So, I have this table 312 quantity of steel materials in a two-way reinforced. So, ito yung ginamit kong table for my basis. And then, also for the tie wire, ito yung ginamit ko ng table na Pero yung basis ko dito for the tie wire is based on 40cm long run. So meaning, hindi kasali sa program ko. No? Hindi kasali sa program ko itong 30cm. Okay. Hindi kasali yan. Hindi ko na din sinali. No? Kasi medyo ano na din. Baka sa next time, no? baka isali ko na. Uh, for now, hindi ko muna sinali. Yung 40 cm ang mga na length ng tie wire. Pero okay na yan. Ha? Sige, so nakabase yan dito. Then isolve natin itong problem na dito ng pardo. Kayo na lang din yung magbasa nila. So under dito sa... Uh, wait lang, sobrang gulo dito. Wait lang. So okay. So ito na, uh, illustration... 317 and so may kita natin dito from figure 324 and figure 324 ay ito yun ha so yun, bali yung figure na to okay so determine the number of 12 mm na steel bars space 10 cm on center including the tie wire required 10 cm on center so Dito, pinakita ni uh, Architect Pardo yung direct counting meter at yung area meter. So, so, yung ginamit niya dito na commercial length is ito na, 7.5 zoom natin. 7.5 steel bars. So, anyway, dito sa two-way slab rebar estimator ko, so, nakabase yan dito sa table. No? So, hanapan ka kung na yung bar spacing, so sinabi sa problem yan, yung bar spacing is space every 10 cm on center. This is 10 cm on center. And then we have this bar length. Ito yung commercial length. Hindi niya sinabi sa problem. Pero, doon ko na lang tinignan sa calculation niya. Ginamit niya 7.5 meters. So, okay na tayo dito, no? So, automatic na yung rebar at saka tie wire. So, yung length, yung length nito is given. Hindi kayo nyo ba? Tignan ko na lang dito sa calculation. So, yung gulang dito is, paano siya namin? Okay, ito na pala na. So, we have 7.2 by 7. Okay? 
7.2 by 7. Amen. Uh, 7.2 by 7. So we have uh, 7.2, 7.2, then isa lang slab yung consider niya. So isa lang. Ha? Number stands for ilang slab with same dimension yung dito. Parang number of repl replication ito. Parang ganun. So, tapos na, na. Calculate and then you have this number of rebars. Kaya na lang yung mag, ano, round up. So, so may kita mo dito na we have 173 pieces uh, of commercial length. So, well, yung commercial length na ginamit natin is 7.5. So, 173 pieces of 12 mm by 7.5 meters yung rebars mo. Pero at least nakuha mo na yung uh, quantity. Yung tie wire naman is we have 44.74 kilograms. Uh, yung gamit niya dito for the tie wire, sinong gina? Solving for tie wire, so yung ginamit niya, again, 10 cm bar spacing, 30 cm long. Okay, so, hindi pa rin na-apply ito. So, magkaiba yung sagot namin. So, bale, yung ginamit niya dito is 0 0.648. So, for a one. So, bale, dito, we have, may ilan yun, 7.2 by... Ay, ito na pala yun. 51.84. So, pala yung ginamit niya dito is, ito yun, ha? So, we have 51.84 times uh, 648. Ito yun, ha? 33.6. Kasi naka-base yan sa 30 cm. Long. Pero ito yung, ang, sa calculate tools, uh, I'm referring, naga, yun, uh, naka-reference siya sa 4, 40 cm lang. So, ibig sabihin, may changes ako dito. So, titignan ko yan ulit dito sa sa table uh, 313. So, dito sa table 313, meron akong 10 meter, 10 cm bar spacing using the 7.5 meter na commercial length and then, di ba, 30 cm. So, ito yung ginamit niya, na? Ito yung ginamit niya. So, ito, na? Hindi ito na part. Ito yung ginamit niya, na? Yan yung 0.648. Pero sa program ko, dito sa CalcWeb Tools, ito yung gagamitin mo. Itong 0.863. Okay? So, kung titignan mo yan, nandito yan sa tie wire factor. So, I'll be changing this one to uh, 0.863. So, ito yung makukuha mong result, which is the same na dito. 44.7379. So at least alam natin kung ano yung basis dito sa Calquim Tools, so, which is, uh, pwede na, ha? So, anyway, dito makukuha mo na yung uh, number of rebars, tsaka time with this uh, free web tools that I created. Okay? So if you like this video, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And also you can follow us on my Facebook page. Na. The link is in the description below. Na. And then to get updated with our new tools, no? And also for our new videos. Okay, so see you. So next video. Thank you.